Lions TV, the search for a new manager continues in SC16. And in this video, I've decided today, instead of doing a post-match analysis, because one, I did quite an extensive full-time reaction yesterday, and two, I wasn't at the game, I'm gonna to react to some news today that come out from Reluctant Nicker, that's Alan Nixon on Patreon, yes, I am paying for his content, and actually I'm glad that I now am, because this morning he came out with this news. Millwall wants to talk to Kevin Muscatine to becoming their new boss this week and pull off a sentimental return. The Lions have spoken to a handful of candidates and fancy old boy Muscat to come back from Japanese club Yokohama Mariners. Australian Muscat may take some persuading as he's also been offered a new deal at the J-League where he succeeded Ange Postacoglu. Millwall are pushing the boat out for Muscat, but could turn to Michael Bill if they foul... The former Rangers boss has also spoken to them and it goes on to say that Bill is also on QPR's shortlist following the departure today or yesterday of Gareth Ainsworth. You've now got Norwich, Bristol City and Queen's Park Rangers without a manager as well as us. So will that speed our process up? Well, look, what I can take from that article is is I can tell you a rumour I heard. It's just a rumour that I heard as a football fan from another football fan or various other football fans. I'm not saying there's any weight behind it, but I did hear that the process had been narrowed down to a final three. And those three were John Eustace, Michael Bill, and Kevin Muscat. And they'd all been interviewed in, in a London hotel last week. I would not like Michael Bill to be at this club. Funny enough, I used to play against Michael Bill. He's actually from Bromley, for those of you who don't know. And I used to play against him as a kid. Me for Bexley District and him for Bromley District. He's known to be more of a coach than a player. But I don't know, I'm not saying he isn't a good manager, but I just feel the way he left QPR once already, and if I was him, I'd be very reluctant to get him back. But he slips off in there after about 15 minutes, didn't he, when, when Rangers come calling. I know he had twice the Rangers, haven't been there, being Steven Gerrard's assistant. But I don't know, I just don't feel there's any longevity in it for me if Michael Bill was to be the manager. So again, look, I'm not saying that this is concrete, that these boys are the final three, but I've heard it through various various rumours, and I'm sure a lot of you have. I've actually seen some of you post them in my comments. Um, John Eustace, look, young manager. I think that was his first gig as Birmingham. But look at the history, tactical manager, likes to be structured, and he's just been sacked by Birmingham in favour of a big name. It sounds like Gary Rowett 2.0 for me. Of course, he was replaced by Wayne Rooney, but it's happened to Rowett at Burnham before, hasn't it? And Gianfranco Zola was brought in to replace Rowett, even though Rowett was doing quite well at their club. So, Eustace isn't exciting me. Bill, I'm reluctant due to the longevity of it, and I'm, I'm not sure he's the man for the job. Uh, for me, Kevin Muscat has been the standout and always will be the standout for me. And it's not just because it's the Millwall way and we're all proper war and all that bollocks. I understand that that's a stigma that surrounds us and a lot of fans want. I do want that, but I want it incorporated into other aspects of a manager's game. Um, look, Muscat played for us 2003-2005. What I regard as a short-term legend at the club, you can put him in the same bracket as Steve Claridge. He didn't just play the Millwall way, he absolutely epitomised everything about it. And I feel that he... Hopefully would transfer that. Well, he will transfer that because he's just that type of lunatic that he transferred that into his managerial style. He used to have opposition players around the throat and iron out his own players in the dressing room. So I don't think Muscat will be taking any shit from any players that aren't putting in 100% for the club. That's the Millwall side of it. Okay, I have said as well, I'd like to give it to a young, hungry, even unproven manager. But I'm going to explain now why Muscat isn't unproven. And as I've said, I would rather him or an unproven manager than the Gary Monks, the Steve Bruce's of this world. I think you might as well try to keep it, uh, keep hold of Gary Rowett in that instance. Muscat went into coaching. He was Ange Postacoglu's successor at Brisbane Raw. And he was appointed in 2013. Of course, Postacoglu went on to J-League side Yokohama Mariners, where Muscat now is. So there's definitely a trail there. And if, if it's good enough for Postacoglu, it's definitely good enough for me. Of course, he currently flies high at the top of the Premier League with with Spurs, done well with Celtic, and, and he's, a, he's an exciting prospect. And if he, he rates Muscat, then I've definitely got to factor that in and take that on board. Muscat led Brisbane Raw to a domestic double in his first season in charge. In 2017, Big Ange then asked Kevin Muscat to help him with the national side, coaching them in the Confederations Cup. So he definitely respects and, and likes him, what he's all about. And then, of course, after that, Big Ange goes on to Selwick. Muscat goes to Belgium. He failed there. He wasn't there long. But all managers can have a shit. And I just think you can put that one down to experience with Muscat in the short six months that he was in Belgium. Then, of course, 
He goes to Yokohama Mariners, as I've said. Posta Koglu gets the Celtic job. I know he's managed in two countries there where the club level may not be very well respected, if we're honest. But I'm going to say this. I think, and I strongly believe that, if a manager can manage players and get the best out of them, for me, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter what level that is at. That's my opinion. I could be completely wrong. But I think if you can get the best out of the players you've got, whatever those players may be, and win things as he has at both clubs he's been at, then I definitely think you're on to a winner. I think it could even work better, couldn't it? Because obviously, as we know as a club, we're not always going to have big budgets and big finances to work with. So in my mind, I'm seeing Muscat as a motivator, but apparently he's a good coach as well. He's definitely done the job, you know, getting silverware through the door wherever he's been. And he's obviously very, very well respected by Ange Postagoglu. So yes, I love the fact that it incorporates the Millwall way and Muscat knows how he worked and he's been at the club before. Um, but again, listen, his credentials and what he's done in football, some of you will argue it's not a high level, but I've explained my reasons why I believe he would be a good appointment just now in the video. So yeah, look, for me, it's Muscat all day long. I want him at the club. I wanted him. He was the first name that I, I plucked out. And hopefully I'll give my reasons and they're valid reasons why it's, it's not just the Millwall way. It's a lot more to it than Kevin Muscat. Look, and if he fouls... He fouls, but I'd rather go with someone that hasn't managed in this league before, that has fresh ideas, maybe coming into a bit raw and naive and can, can learn his own way and maybe take us away from, from previous managers. I think any manager coming in will have that mindset of, other than, other than Muscat or, or maybe someone who's connected with a club, oh, you know, with budget, you know, finances. I bang that job all the time. I want someone to come in and go, do you know what, I'm going to come in, I'm going to shake this up, I'm going to bring my own ideas to this, to this league. It is a very competitive league. I think it's the best league. It's definitely up there for one of the best leagues in the world, technically. But I think physically and the way anyone could beat anyone, I think Muscat could definitely, definitely do a job. Looking at the running today, Michael Bill is odds-on favourite currently. But with a QPR thing now, that are they, you know, was he holding back Bill and is he waiting to see if if Ainsworth was going to get sacked, which he now has. I've discounted uses. I've discounted Bill. The only other name I'd be interested in in those. Betting odds there would be Nathan Jones, obviously done the business, taking Luton up, done really well for them. Struggled a bit at higher levels, but in the championship, being a lower budget side, getting the best out of your players, being very animated and being a motivator, I would be definitely interested in taking Nathan Jones. But look, for now, Muscat's my main man. He's the one I want. That article come out today from Reluctant Nico, Alan Nixon on Patreon, very reliable source. But however, he still isn't favourite in a better than Michael Bill is. Michael Bill's not for me. Kevin Muscat and Emil will return is the, the fairy tale that I'm after. It could turn into a nightmare, but we'll wait and see. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions!